Do they go there because that's where the future is going to be or was going to be? Uh, or, or do they go there because as a device of the novelist to set up a controlled environment? I suppose there's a little truth in both. Uh, the entire history of mankind has been that of crossing the hilltop to see what's in the next valley. Mankind has been exploring the earth over thousands of years. Somehow, just because we have now explored the entire earth, even Antarctica and Greenland, it seems a shame to stultify this impulse of ours. And the next thing to explore is the moon and the planets. That's one thing. It's sort of an analogy from the past, an extrapolation forward. But then another thing, the environments on these other planets are made to order for our purposes. Mm -hmm. Strange environments, the possibility of new forms of life. Uh, this takes the place of stories in the old days about mysterious islands in the Pacific I or see. hidden civilizations in uh, the Amazon Valley and so on. You couldn't produce that kind of heightened consciousness if you set your story in New York City, for instance. No, it gives us an interesting background. And then, of course, no matter how strange the background is, what goes on in the foreground should, if it's a good story, illuminate the human condition.